This is code.org, and I want to go over the first thing you're going to want to do when you hit that hackathon. You might be in an earlier part of this, but the first thing you want to do, I have a bit started, but we can ignore that for now, is picking out your data set. Now, in the hackathon project, right, right here it's saying data set. Open a project on code.org and look for different data sets available. Keep in mind your options. Filter, which is the most common, use the list from one column to determine info that will be filtered from the list. So they give an example. You could uh, another example than this would be like years. So maybe you want them to type in a year, and you'll output a Netflix movie. So you would have the list of movies and then a list of years. And if they put in 1998, your list you find uh, the second item has a year of 1998. So what do you put on the screen? Well, the name, whatever name is at that second point, that second index of the list. Map is to add or subtract from a list. It's to add or uh, subtract items. And reduce is, is to filter it into a single number, like the smallest item on a list. So let's take a look at some of the data and let me give you some suggestions. Uh, I had already added this one. It's, there's a bunch of good starting points here and there's a ton of data to use. So for instance, let's take a look at, I did Netflix, I said as an example. So if you were to do Netflix, think about how you're going to interact with and filter the data. If you wanted to do a filter for this was already my example, maybe you would have the user enter a year and then you would search through this list, right? The years you would find it and say it's at, this would be number 15. You would find the year and then you would put the name of the movie on the screen, right? So that would be considered a filtering method. You could also have the user look up a, what is this, country. And once you grab the country, you could have the name of the movie on the screen. So that's one method, integers and strings. Now this add or subtract. So if you would like to take a look at something like that, which would be appending to your list, maybe you would have doo -doo 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 -doo, five most influential albums of all time. Uh, maybe Oscar winners. Let's preview this. And I bet it only goes to, yeah, so it's not going to have everything on it, it looks. Oh, well, maybe it does. Uh, it goes to 2011. So maybe you ask the user to, nope, it goes further. 2015. Maybe you ask the user to append to this list. So you might grab all the names of people on it, and then you say, can you append the most recent? That would be one way to do this. Or you could remove content from a list. Again, filters the most common. Reduce would be to grab a single number, the greatest, the least. So for something in like that, maybe most followed Instagram accounts, you could say, um, click a button greatest or least. And it would literally output the greatest or the most followed or, and then the least of the most followed accounts. Something like this. And so keep in mind what these are the items you want to be considering. How are you going to be filtering? How are you going to be selecting what to put on the screen? Once you have decided that, once you have made your selection, I can even get rid of this. That's where you make a variable for it. So my example here is volcano. So like I had, I would do var and then I'm going to need the names we'll say. So I'm going to just call this name list, I guess. And then I'm also going to use um, a the elevation of a volcano or maybe i'm going to do netflix so sure i gave that as an example let me go ahead and my netflix you have to hit import and once you hit import it will appear here you can use this data so i'll say a uh, title list maybe i like to put list because it makes uh, i make sure not to forget what it is and then year list because i'll grab the years they were released now I'm going to go into data and say get column. And again, I can only use do this because I've imported it in data and choose Netflix column. I'm going to choose names or a title. That's what I want and choose Netflix. And then I'm going to use years. So this is how you're, you want to get started. Keep in mind from the beginning what you're going to have that data be doing. Like I said, I'm going to Take a look at this, I'll, I'll be filtering then, or I could use this for mapping. I'm gonna lay out my device and keep going from there. Step one accomplished.